Hey everyone, it's been a hot minute, I know, um, since I picked up my camera last to vlog. Um, but today it's, dare I say, a beautiful sunny day in London. We're in lockdown, of course, as pretty much everyone in this world. Um, and I thought I might just take you guys along with what we get up to on the weekends. Um, but first, coffee and breakfast. Neil started making tofu about 20 years ago in, in Brick Lane okay. and he's like a real kind of like uh, guru around tofu. He yeah. talks at conferences all around the world and so interestingly the, all the hot sauces well, we have from like Brixton to Hackneywick to you know but interestingly a lot of them are teachers that produce the hot sauces in their commercial kitchens. White, white mouse is no. it's actually it's really weird. It's a Ryu, um, and it's like kind of a fusion thing. It's, it's actually Irish. I love the marketing on this. Absolutely the incredible. Labels. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so we're working with them a lot. Really, really recommend it. This could be like our new lagama chili sauce. Yeah, I've got a huge list of brands that I want to include. It's just space, space, <laughs> yeah, space yeah. and time. Just really just like the, uh, yeah. because it's sort of spinning so many bits. So like we've got this puppet show coming up in a month, which is for kids. So it's raising money for three different charities. So it's free puppet show on Zoom, which is great. How much do you think you generally donate to like food banks and, and schools and stuff like that? It really mm -hmm. depends on the case by case basis with the food banks. So like mm -hmm. we're working with this other food bank uh, tomorrow. We're going to be donating apples and pears. So mm -hmm. it's probably like, I don't know. 150, 200 pounds of fruit and stuff. So thank you. I mean, you guys, it makes a big, huge difference for all the, the support you guys have given. So thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, super happy to help. I mean, right. honestly, super cool. <laughs> so we're back home now and just had a little bit of a snack while watching The Mandalorian. Um, and I'm probably gonna get cooking in a second, but. I just wanted to touch on one thing because a very well-known chocolate brand called Tony's Chocolonely's who, like I'm not gonna lie to you, I have some sitting in my home. Uh, they had gifted me some chocolate before and I was honestly like a real advocate for them. I thought they were super cool. I thought that what they did, what they stood for, which is all about producing chocolate ethically and ending slavery and child labor in West Africa. And that's literally what the entire brand is all about. And we actually just found out that they are tied to a manufacturer that they manufacture their couverture with um, and that they cannot actually guarantee that their, that their supply chain and that their work is not slavery free and also not child, uh, child labor free. And I think I just feel a little bit disappointed if I'm honest. I think when brands start to scale, start to grow um, and, and it's all about profit, then things, I guess, just 
no matter how ethical the company sets out to be, some things might just be, you know, um, left behind. And, and that was the case in, in Oatly. But I guess in this case, it's still a little bit different because it's literally what they fight for and what they claim to stand for. Anyway, a little bit of ramble. Um, let's get cooking. So one of the things that we picked up was a jungle curry paste, um, which is also made um, here in London. Here's what I'm gonna put into my curry. I have a bunch of coriander here that I always keep in a jar to keep it nice and fresh. We picked up some oyster mushrooms earlier, then a couple of carrots, a little sweet potato. I had some fun fennel sitting around that I wasn't too sure what to do with, so this is a good way to use it up. Celery, some leek. I think this is like some, some sort of cabbage. I need to look it up, no idea what it is. And some five spice tofu. And then of course, the curry paste that I was talking about. that we got it's actually not vegan it has shrimp paste and fish sauce in it so change of plans we're still gonna make a curry I still I'm still gonna put some rice on um, but maybe we'll do more of a mess of mine all right guys we're improvising I have some ginger and green chili frozen because I, I always get a bunch and then I whiz it up in my food processor and freeze it because we make a lot of Indian food in this household. Um, and some gal and gal. And then I'm probably gonna add some some spices, coconut milk, peanut butter, soy sauce. This is real life vlogging guys. We did not check those labels. juice of probably half. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more curry powder actually to make it a little bit like a saute sauce but damn that's got some heat. Already cracked open this one. Comes in paper packaging, which is really cool. 